This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your Weekly Wisdom. Several weeks ago, I read in the Wall Street Journal that the hottest item, they couldn't even keep this item in stock, were day planners, weekly planners, monthly planners. And I thought, how strange that is. Here we are, using social distancing, keeping at home, not going out unless we absolutely need to, and they can't keep daily planners, weekly planners, monthly planners in stock? How interesting. Well, it was interesting and I found it odd until I was clearing out my library and I came upon a book that I have loved. And it's called, Excuse Me, Your, Your Life is Waiting. Excuse Me, your life is waiting. It's by the author of Lynn Grabhorn. Excuse me, your life is waiting. It's a fabulous book. And then I got it. It all made sense. We are ready. You're ready and I'm ready. The world is ready to get back to living. And a part of, of that is making daily plans making weekly plans, making monthly plans. Excuse me, your life is waiting, tells us how to make a life plan. Yet, it's just another way of explaining the universal laws, or as the author Lynn Grabhorn says in the book, she says, now I grant you, there are probably eight and a half million books on the overworked subject of getting more out of life. But the utterly bizarre things about these little known principles are, A, they are uncomplicated, B, they work fast, and C, they are guaranteed. So this little book, excuse me, your life is waiting, is but a wonderful, wonderful way of looking at universal principles and how to apply them in your life. So it talks about the power of feelings. Remember our unity teachings tell us thought plus feeling equals manifestation. She gives an example of a, a superstar little leaguer and how this little pint-sized slugger hit every ball right out of the ballpark every single time. He hit a home run every single time. And he did it with confidence and with ease. When she asked this little, little slugger, how do you hit so many home runs? He replied, I don't know. Each time I get up to bat, I just feel what it's gonna be like to connect. And I do. Wisdom. I just, each time I get up to bat, I just feel what it's gonna feel like to connect, and I do it. That's the secret. That's the secret to manifesting our heart's desires. Thought plus feeling equals manifestation. What we are in vibrational harmony with, we attract. In unity, we say, like attracts like. It's like a like a, 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 a boomerang. You throw a boomerang out, and what happens? At some point, it turns and comes right back to you. And that's exactly the way the universal laws work. Again, from the book, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting, I wanna share with you what Lynn Grabhorn says. She said, we get what we emotionally focus on Focus on what we want with passion and excitement and presto, it's on its way. Focus on what we don't want to, um, in our, focus on what we don't want with the same passion, such as worry, such as concern, you know, you know all of those. And presto, it too will be right back, coming right to, will be right on its way to you. She, she says, since what we send out is what we get back, and since 
we send what we send out comes from what we've been focusing on, it might behoove us to pay a damn sight more attention to what we're thinking about and how that is making us feel. Good point, good point, good point. So this week, I am inviting you to be aware. Be aware of what your feelings are, what you're focusing on. This week, take an inventory of of what you're focusing on and be vigilant. Write down those, those, um, those low energy, those thoughts and concerns. Write them down. Write them down daily. Write them down hourly. And then tear that piece of paper up and throw it away. Do that on a daily basis. And as you throw that piece of paper away, say, that is no longer mine. That is no longer mine. And say to it, as you throw it into the waste paper basket, I release you and I let you go because I'm on my way to greater good. I'm on my way to health, wealth, happiness, and prosperity. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. And next week, we're going to have four different items on how to bring your dream into reality.